this is amazing now i have chat gpt4 and gemini ultra we are going to see the comparison between those which one performs better and test those models that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about the comparison between gemini ultra and chat gpt4 i'm going to take you through step by step on the different tests which i'm going to perform and the results but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you coming to the comparison the first i'm asking it to create a snake game in python to both the large language model at the same time and let's see how it performs so for first i'm going to test this gemini ultra now i'm going to copy this code in vs code and then let's test it python snake.py and click enter this is the game created by gemini ultra i can see everything is working perfectly fine i can see the snake is going across the screen going to and the game is over next copying the chat gpt code pasting in vs code and python snake.py and click enter so this is using turtle i can see a turtle interface came but i don't see anything so as a second try i'm going to ask chat gpt to generate using pygame generate code using pygame so that it's like like for like the code is ready going to copy that pasting vs code and running it here's the chat gpt version it's exactly same like the gemini ultra version you lost that's good so both the models able to create this game next going to ask create a space invader game in python same question for both the models and it's generating now one thing to note in chat gpt is that i have custom instruction so it's not giving me any explanation of the code but in gemini i don't have custom instruction yet going to copy gemini ultra so i have saved the game and it's asking for some png images and i can see these are like templates so going to ask it to generate the code again without using these templates try not using any images just use characters give me the full code now going to copy the gemini code copied everything from previous now going to run it python space invader.py i can see the screen is very tiny so going to close it and going to ask the screen size is too tiny so going to copy this and pasting it here now running the code it is shooting from the position and it's slowly hitting the enemy so that is good so i will give this a pass next going to test the chat gpt code pasting it in vs code and running the game here also it's expecting an image so going to ask to regenerate without image and use characters code generation is complete so going to try that running it and i can see the space in where the game i'm shooting the enemy i can see the gunshots so that's a good starting point so i will give this a pass next going to ask create a tic tac toe game in python going to do the same for chat gpt gemini it's complete so i'm going to copy the code from gemini pasting in vs code and starting the game enter your move row and column going to say zero input invalid so probably two zeros input invalid zero comma zero yeah that is the correct one player x wins so that is the working game and now we're going to try chat gpt's version copy the code pasted it in vs code now running it same as the previous gemini version going to type one column one x wins so both of them have the same approach so i give this a pass next from coding challenge i'm going to choose expert level for both of them I'm going to copy the long alternating substring copying the task and going to mention in python and then paste the question similarly in chat gpt in python and paste the question so going to copy the chat gpt version I'm going to test it here click check and it's a pass I'm going to copy the solution from gemini I'm going to do the same and click check i got an error failed and this number should be this so i'm going to copy the error and paste it in gemini click enter i'm going to copy the fixed code and pasting it in the test area and click check still it's not correct so this is a fail now let's try a javascript test expert level the fiscal code so going to copy the challenge and 
in JavaScript. I'm going to paste the same thing here in chat GPT as well and click enter. I got the answer here for Gemini. So I'm going to paste it in the test area and click check. Some failed, some passed. So I'm going to go to chat GPT, copy the code and let's test it. Same kind of error. So I believe it could be because of the testing thing. So I will skip this for now. So let's go to the next test. Some PHP expert level test. Find all prime numbers in decimal numbers. So I'm going to copy that in PHP and then paste it there. Similarly in chat GPT in PHP and paste it there. So I got the answer here for Gemini. So I'm going to copy it. Let's test this. Check. Cannot read declare is prime. I'm going to copy this error and I'm going to paste it in Gemini. And now copying the fix from Gemini and testing the code, click check. And it is a fail. So I will give this as a fail. Next, let's try the chat GPT code. Let's copy this and going to run the test. I'm getting the same error, which makes me think the instruction what we gave isn't that informative for both the models. So I will skip this one. Finally, we're going to try C sharp test and expert level miserable parody of a calculator. So going to copy the instruction right in C sharp and pasting the question. Similarly doing for chat GPT and I'm going to ask both the code for chat GPT is ready. So I'm going to test that and testing it here by clicking check and it is a pass for chat GPT and got a response from Gemini. So copying that and testing it here. There is an error. Going to copy the error, pasting it in Gemini. Now got the answer, copying it and going to check that. It's a fail. So I will mark this a fail. Now going to test its multimodal capability. Going to upload this image, clicking uploading. Similarly for chat GPT, explain what is in this image for both and clicking enter. Gemini responded, I'm a language model and I don't have capacity to help with that. I can see the response from chat GPT is correct with Gemini, Gemini advanced and with a new icon. I'm going to try once again with Gemini. What is in this image? Sorry, I can't help you with images of people yet. So going to crop up to this. And this is the image I'm going to upload now. Final try. What is in this image? It says Gemini past code, Gemini advanced. And overall, it was good. As soon as I took out my image from the picture, it was able to give me the response. So just remember, image with person's face means Gemini won't give you a response. Going to try a logical and reasoning test. Three sisters are in a room. Anna is reading a book. Alice is playing a game of chess. What is the third sister Amanda doing? There are no other items in the room. I'm going to ask chat GPT and then Gemini. Chat GPT responded. Amanda is playing chess with Alice since chess requires two players. So that is correct in regards to chat GPT. Here are some possible solutions. playing chess. Amanda could be playing chess with Alice. Chess requires two players. That is correct. Second option watching Alice play. Amanda might be observing thinking and daydreaming, bored. There is no single definitive answer, which is actually what makes these types of riddles interesting. So Gemini didn't give a definite answer. Chat GPT gave me a definite answer. I'm going to ask Gemini, give me one answer and not possibilities. Absolutely, here is one answer. Amanda is playing chess with Alice. This is a common answer as chess is a two player game and the riddle doesn't explicitly state Alice is playing alone. That is good. So. Equally, both are competing with each other. One thing to note in regards to Gemini is that you have various options such as good response, bad response and modify response. You can make it shorter, longer, simpler, more casual or more professional. You are able to share and export. You are able to double check the response by clicking this icon and it will automatically go and search Google. And also you can copy the response as well. That's a quick test in regards to Gemini versus ChatGPT. I believe these both are nearly head to head and chat GPT could be slightly ahead based on the test which we did just now. But overall, these two models are really good. It is capable of writing code, understanding an image, find answers for your questions, 
summarize content, create a story and much more. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.